Hi, my name is Cecile Johnson. I'm CEO of African Development Plan, and I'm here today as part of Global City Unity's community outreach to keep you informed about issues that are affecting the global black and African communities here. Um, with the goal of providing enough information that we can have unity and we can find solutions. So today I'm really, really excited, right? We have some guests in the audience, um, in the studio with us, um, who are part of President Barack Obama's Mandela Washington Fellowship, which they call the Young African Leaders Initiative. And we have Dan Edoba from Uganda, welcome. Thank you. Tola Oni from Nigeria, welcome. Thank you. And Dr. Margaret King, who is one of the mentors. I'd Thank like you. to just tell you how excited I am <laughs> that you're here in the studio <laughs> with us, right? Okay. So, most of our audience um, never heard of YALI, right? Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us about what YALI is? What the process was? Um, I keep hearing that 50,000 people applied mm -hmm. and 500 were chosen. So I can say with all honesty that the cream of Africa's crop is sitting on my stage. That's right. right. <laughs> 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 and so, That's right. uh, so tell us more about what Yali is and, you know, how you got involved, how you heard about it, all of that. Okay. Um, Yali, as you said, it's the Young African Leadership Initiative, uh, which is um, one of President Barack Obama's initiative for young Africans. Um, actually, there's a lot of publicity in the social media in Africa, mm -hmm. a bit of newspaper and TV adverts. And um, young people from the ages of about um, 21 to 35 were encouraged to apply for the um, fellowship, which is called the Mandela Washington Fellowship. Right. And um, people applied from all over Africa, and uh, we passed through various stages, which includes um, written applications and interviews, and particularly evidence and proof of what you've done in your communities and. Um, within your, 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 your f area of influence, maybe you're into business, maybe you're into um, public management or civic leadership. So finally, um, from the five, um, from the 50,000 applica applications, 500 were selected. And um, we're privileged, like I'm privileged and my friend here, to be part of that 500 selected from all over Sub-Saharan Africa. And actually at the moment we are in um, 20 top um, U.S. universities mm -hmm. with 25 fellows in each university. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three respective tracks, business and entrepreneurship, public management, and civic um, leadership. Mm. Thank you. Okay. So which university are you affiliated right with right now? Northwestern University. Northwestern yeah, University. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> you said you heard about it and you applied. Absolutely. Okay. And, and, and now you're here. How about yourself? Um, I, I have to <coughs> try to remember your names. Um, Dan, yeah. right, Dan. Uh, well, it was just like wha what my colleague or my other fellow has said. Tola. Tola has uh -huh. said. It was well advertised in Africa, particularly in Uganda, mm -hmm. at the social media and some was in the newspapers. Mm -hmm. okay. So the advert was trying to show they reach out to all over the country, mm -hmm. show that every young person has access to the information. Mm -hmm. And the process was three stage. The first one was the application, and then the second was a selection, and then the third one was interview. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So for the case of Uganda, about eighteen hundred people applied. Wow. In Uganda alone, and mm -hmm. uh, ninety were selected as finalists. So the ninety were called for the interview, and then out of the ninety, nineteen were selected. Mm -hmm. So nineteen of us were selected. And as he pointed, it was we're all allocated in the three tracks. We have the business and entrepreneurship track, mm -hmm. the public management, and civic leadership. So those are the three tracks. But then we are spread across the 20 universities. As a matter of fact, Northwestern, uh, Northwestern University, we are two from Uganda, and the business and entrepreneurship track. So that's what that is? <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, so how many were accepted from Nigeria? Uh, approximately for the five. And um, actually, we had 7,000 plus applications um, from Nigeria. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> for the five 
Yeah, now in the U.S. To probably. five? Yeah, 45. So five. more and more Ugandans are here? 45. Oh, 45. Oh, yeah. oh I thought you said five. I was oh, like, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense because Nigeria yeah. is one in five African is Nigerian. Yes. Yeah, that's oh, true. Okay. That's the largest, that's where you have the largest number of blacks in the world. Right. Yeah. Yes. That is awesome. Yeah, it's the most popular most popular black, black nation, nation in, in, the world. Yeah. in the world. Yeah. So now that you have, um, what have you experienced so far? Is this your first time in America? for both of you and w what has the program tell us about the program right how how has it impacted you is yeah. it what you expected you know tell us a little bit um more. well it's my first time here in the u.s and uh i must say that the movies haven't lied <laughs> 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 the movies haven't okay they haven't lied oh my god it's real it's, it's real. real it's real um right from the airport and the drive down to Evanston. I could see America. Mm -hmm. I could see myself in a movie. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you were really now in a yes. movie, right? <laughs> I, couldn't wait, I couldn't wait to get back to foster mm -hmm. and you know, access wireless and let people home know I'm here. Oh. I've made it. I've taken selfies all over you know, <laughs> to give evidence back home because mm -hmm. I have to be accountable to my family and friends Absolutely. that I made it right. and also to my embassy that selected me. That's the U.S. mission Kampala. Mm -hmm. right. All right who I'm proud of, because right. out of the 1800 who applied, I was one of the selected one, the few selected. So um, the last five weeks has been a life-changing experience. Mm. Um, we've had classes. We have classes three times a week, uh, three days a week, sorry. And then um, we have community service, mm. where we've had an opportunity to mentor uh, high school students at uh, Evanston Township uh, High awesome. School. Mm, All mm -hmm. right. And then so we had a session with uh, After School Matters, yeah. which was really good to meet and work with these young, brilliant high school students. Yeah. And then from the class side, the professors have been amazing. Mm. They've been amazing. I've never been challenged like this in my mm. life. Oh, All right. Oh, this has really, really been exciting. And for me, the excitement has been more of the practical aspect. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in Africa, our education system is absolutely different. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. theoretically, we emphasize yeah, theory. Yeah. But mm -hmm. coming here, getting embodied in the case method uh, case teaching, study, it yeah. was really amazing. It was amazing. And then, um, you know, from a business point of view in Africa, we go to the business and find out what will happen from there mm. as opposed to first find out what the customer mm. wants mm. especially customer development is a concept that's new mm. to us mm. all right customer development, customer development mm. is new and also business development mm. all right how to come up with a business model these are all new concepts as we used to do is you go in the field and find out it's there if things are working or not mm -hmm. all right which is absolutely different here mm -hmm. so it's um it's a life-changing opportunity and also we've been having opportunities to meet other professionals and corporations in the country. We went to McDonald's headquarters, we went to Oracle headquarters here in Chicago, mm. we went to Google to mention but a few. Mm -hmm. We went to uh, Chicago Business, World Business World Chicago, Business World Chicago. Mm -hmm. okay. all right? And recently we went to mayor's office, mm -hmm. which is really good, mm -hmm. right? So it's been an experience that's exceptional very exceptional that is awesome when i go home i'm going to ensure that all my friends apply <laughs> <laughs> i have a friend in uganda mm -hmm. i think you should make sure he tries huh? he oh. needs Isaka to Isaka Tangula, right? oh. so he needs yeah, to he would really be a benefit mm. so um how about you is, is it the same track you've been visiting the same places yeah it's the same track visiting the same place and i said the professors have been awesome mm -hmm. then what's what's really uh trees me more it's um meeting with people you know I, i've met i've met with more than 100 people mm. strategic meetings strategic meeting. yes That's and good. and um i've learned so much from these people and um, a lot of them are willing <coughs> to cooperate a partner to partner with mm. me mm -hmm. yes stand yes stand like um i said like i run I, like the program i run in nigeria um, the business of cut company, which helps um, young people who are just starting their businesses. So you do business development. Business yeah. development, yeah. Uh -huh. Tell us the name of your company and all that. Mm -hmm. The business support company. Business. Yeah. Business. Okay. yeah, we help um, young Africans 
who are just starting their businesses, mm -hmm. youth startups, mm -hmm. you understand? And um, a number of these people are willing to support, you understand, and um, partner with us, you understand? Mm -hmm. Uh, we've been to a number of places. I can't, you know, like um, uh, the, inc the business inc incubator, 1871. Mm -hmm. yeah, we've, been, we've been there. Then this other office called the Level Office. Okay. Yeah, where you have a number of um, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. coming together in a common ecosystem, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. And um, like the sea iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. And um, when opportunities come, it's, it's, it gets there to them, you understand? It's, it's a common flow. Okay. And, and this, this, I've learned that model so much, and I, it's one of the things I want to take back home. Right. So this, this is a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. A good opportunity, it's, it's awesome. In fact, it's beyond my expectation. Mm. Yes, when I was on the plane oh for God. hours, <laughs> mm. yeah, I was on the plane for hours, and so hope I'm making the right choice. Mm. Oh my because, God! Yeah, we have to leave a lot of things back home. My yeah. office back home. Yeah. Yeah. stand coming down to America because I never wanted to leave Africa for America. Mm. I've had a lot of opportunities to come here, but I tell them no, I'm not coming to America. Mm. You stand. But when this came up, well, it's the president's initiative. Let me give it a try. Mm. Okay, and um, it has been awesome. Mm. Just that like him, it's been awesome. That is so That's yeah. wonderful. Dr. King, yeah. you're coming out of Chicago State. Uh -huh. You just launched a Global Institute. You have launched the Africa Center. You do microfinancing. You are involved in global African development. What do you think about what's going on here at the event? It was <laughs> exciting. When I got that email, Dr. King, you have been selected as a subject matter expert to mentor the young African leaders. Like that's what I do. <laughs> that's my interest. <laughs> and then, and and coming from the president's office, uh, President Obama, and and just devoting the time to mm -hmm. try to help to develop the future of Afrish African leadership, it was exciting. And that was last year. And so this year, um, I did a little more uh, than just being a mentor. This year, I also when we you had the. Um, they had a welcoming event. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we were there. Yeah. We yes. kind of met work and yeah, meet up. Yeah. And then we also had a mentorship day. Uh, but we had, um, we talked about um, leadership in globalization, yeah. mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I moderated um, a panel of some very fine minds mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. uh, right. yeah, talked to the, uh, fellows. the fellows uh, about the different things they're doing. I mean, just to meet these people, you know they are the cream of the crop. It was exciting. Mm -hmm. And kind of just talking with them one by one and seeing their leadership role in their respective areas, uh, it was wonderful. So it just took me back to what we're doing at uh, Chicago State University with the oh. Global Institute. That's exactly what we're trying to do mm -hmm. to partner. Um, Chicago State Universities, building them up, helping them to build their immediate community, and of course, with a focus globally, of course, starting with the mm -hmm. Africa Center to Africa. Mm -hmm. And so to have the bright young mind coming, our interest is to marry them together. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't mean marry in the session. We're talking about some brilliant minds, yeah. okay? <laughs> All right, putting these minds together, and mm -hmm. as he talked about, iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. um, they can be our gateway to African continent in their respective uh, communities, their mm -hmm. respective countries. Uh, for us to see our interests, as you know, Cecile, we're really trying to um, get our expertise from the diaspora, uh, connect them mm -hmm. with the uh, expertise in the continent. Right. And with all the riches and the raw materials and all that, we want to be able to use that to develop Africa. Mm. not somebody coming in an exploitative way mm. as right. we have been experiencing yeah. uh, mm -hmm. to explore Africa but mm. we want to be able to build capacity so uh, that's why as you and I had a conversation I said you got to meet these bright minds <laughs> <Yeah>. although we <laughs> were expecting a lot more of them uh, yeah. but they're very busy yeah. but we want to thank you for at least coming out and it's letting the world know about some great things that you're doing and mm. we hope that with the Global Institute and the Africa Center we want to mm. be able to connect with right. you and build capacity for what you're doing. I do have a, a, a real quick question. Yes, for please. The, uh, I was going to ask if you have Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So. Um, the, his business support model, and I know you already kind of alluded to that a little bit, uh, but what exactly have you picked up from here? And then, you know, that's for uh, Tala, right? Yeah, Tala. Okay, yeah. Tala, and then I will go to Dan. Um, mm. What have you picked up? from all the training that you receive. Next week, you guys are going to Washington, D.C. Yeah. to meet with President Obama. Yes. And from there, you'll be on your way. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. So what have you picked up that you can take
to develop your business, uh, your leadership skills, yeah. and and then what can we do, right? Yes. To be able to help you, right? From yeah. the diaspora. From the diaspora. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'm asking too many questions. No, that's but a good, good question. <laughs> both of you would okay. like an answer. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, that's good. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Yeah, like like um, I, I need to also mention this that mm -hmm. all the tracks have something in common. That the business and entrepreneurship, the civic um engagement and, and, and leadership, leadership and the public management mm -hmm. they're treating this one to have and that's leadership okay leadership. and you have all yeah. three of it's them here leadership no we have only been entrepreneur entrepreneurship here in the northwest only entrepreneurship okay. Yeah. Okay. Business. okay different school so mm -hmm. but leadership there's a leadership uh, module that cuts across all the three tracks, tracks okay. understand yeah so only the two okay. not that yes like i said i run the business support company back in nigeria and um what we do basically is to help young people, youths who are just starting their own businesses. Like myself, when I graduated from university in Nigeria, mm -hmm. I graduated with a very good grade. I was the best graduating student in my department. Mm. And I was offered to stay as a lecturer. But I told them I, I don't want to lecture because I have Sorry, a Sorry, which university is that? University yeah. of Illinois. Illinois. Yeah, University okay. of Illinois mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I told them I'm not lecturing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and because I have a vision that Nigerian students or young graduates can leave university and start doing their own thing. Does that sound like <laughs> me? <laughs> 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 okay. so I want to start, up to start my own business. Uh -huh. yes, and I actually went into the printing and publishing industry, okay. which I've been doing right from college. Mm -hmm. then, yes, and and um, I did it for a number of years. This was a bit challenging and mm -hmm. difficult, mm -hmm. but we got to the pin point. We were able to break even, and later on we break through and mm -hmm. the, the profit was really flowing in. Mm -hmm. So that really inspired me to go to the next level. You understand, which is to start a business support company mm. to help young people like myself, you understand, mm. who want to go into business. You understand, so I encourage them. I go to university campuses, I go to schools, and um, talk to them. And those that are out of university and are ready to start their businesses, help them with their business plans, help them with their feasibility studies, and do that of mentorship. And um, th th does that sound like something we've talked about? That's basically, you know, yeah. I, I was just telling her yes. my interest with the microfinance, oh. even through uh, the economic recovery yeah. and what we're trying to even enhance more uh, with the Global Institute. Yeah. Um, where we work with young people. Good. You know how they finish mm -hmm. university yeah. and their mind has been go get a job, go get a job, but the that jobs is. are not there. Right? Not right. there. So the, the mind has been programmed right. to go looking Absolutely. for government jobs. Absolutely. Right. But those jobs are not there. So mm -hmm. you're looking at supply side economics and I think the federal government of Nigeria has actually stepped up its game yeah. uh, by trying to encourage entrepreneurship. Absolutely. So before this came, my, I'm looking at a lot of people call anti send money. Auntie, auntie, <laughs> you know? So then I'm like, okay, and when they want it, they want it like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, Absolutely. what can I do to help mm. to make it sustainable? Mm. I, I'm really very interested and big on sustainability mm -hmm. principles, mm -hmm. all right? So how can, yes, we send a little money today, they finish, they're gonna keep asking for it. That's right. So why don't we teach a man how to fish rather than giving them a fish. fish. Right. So we started, uh, the program was basically to have you finish from college, use the skills mm -hmm. that you have, start a business, become an employer of labor. So we'll work with them to develop their business plan based on the their technical Absolutely. skills. Yeah. And then of course, put them on international dollars list or find some oh. microfinance. So to hear you say this, he sounds like <laughs> a guy, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's, that's basically that. what my business does. Uh -huh. So we train them, you understand, we have them through the process. Mm -hmm. Link them up with leadership people, and like you said, the last part of it is we connect them with capital, That's access it. to capital. Capital, awesome. yeah, access to capital. We mm -hmm. tell them you can check this place, this how to go about it, mm -hmm. and give them all the opportunities. Mm -hmm. And so far, I've been, I've been able to train not less than 400. 400. Yeah, 400. In what time period? In the last um, five years. That's yeah. awesome. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Actually, we did 100 in like four years, and um, mm -hmm. the previous Nigerian government uh, somehow just picked me mm -hmm. to help them train 400. Oh. In northern Nigeria, oh. so northern actually, Nigeria. actually, before coming for the fellowship, mm -hmm. you understand, I was in northern Nigeria for about four months. Yeah, four months, four months yeah. training yeah. entrepreneurs. That just, that yeah, is awesome. Now yeah. we gotta be involved in this. Yeah. Yeah. we have a passion for this, don't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's a yeah. good thing because yeah. some of yeah. the unrest that we see is because of economics, right? right? Similar to the unrest here in our community. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. it's yeah. really simple, isn't it? The yeah. devil fights off for idle hands. That's right. Yeah. But when the young right. people are and they're very intelligent, they're sharp. Oh. you know, they are as sharp. Again, I always say, if you can sell somebody something that is not good for them and they buy it, mm -hmm. why don't you try it? good. Yeah, yeah that's because smart. Because they're very <laughs> entrepreneurial. Yeah, that's smart. They're very smart. I've worked with a lot of these young people, yeah. you understand, and 
you need to see the brilliance, intelligence, innovation, and creativity. These guys are dynamic. Mm -hmm. There are these young people I'm working with now um, that are into um, IT, you understand? Mm -hmm. they, they are programmers, mm -hmm. software developers. Mm -hmm. yes, I, to I tell them, why not put this energy mm -hmm. towards a positive That's venture right. instead right. of putting it towards yeah, yeah. Start a wrong negative means. Yeah, right. get my point, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So one of the things I've actually learned from here that I'll be taking back home is, um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of focus on, on case studies. Mm -hmm. We studied a lot of um, uh, uh, multinational companies, global companies, which includes, we've studied about Facebook, you understand? Mm -hmm. We've studied about Google, you know, mm -hmm. point. And a number of other big organizations, how they started, you understand? Many of the Silicon Valley um, companies, startups, we studied a lot about them. And um, I get to understand many things, you understand? I have this concept now that I developed there, which is um, think big. Start small, mm -hmm. act now. All right. Think, Say that big, again. Think big. Think big. Start small, Start small. Start small. Act, small. Now. act now. I like it's that. called the, uh, the minimal viable product. Mm. Minimum viable product. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know how some people say, oh, I can't start now. I can't wait for all the money in the world. You don't have it's to work. Ideas rule the world. Mm -hmm. That's part of what I've learned here mm -hmm. in the US. That ideas, ideas rule, rule the world. I got the confirmation. Ideas rule, ideas the, rule, the, rule world. the world. You understand? Mm -hmm. And money, currency, flows in the direction of ideas. Yes, say that. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very <laughs> yeah. happy. Money flows in Money the direction, flows of, in ideas. The direction yes, of ideas. Yes, ideas. Just believe in your idea. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that many of the entrepreneurs we studied about, and those I've met, I've met some great folks here. Yeah. Mm. That's the truth. But um, the, uh, the, 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 the I'm recognizing the diaspora, the, the 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 white different people of different colors. You understand? <coughs> and I've seen that these are people who follow their passion. Mm. Mm. I went for it, and I've achieved so much. I don't I'm doing. I'm going to take back home is this. The, the power to focus. The power Many to young focus. people back home are not focused. Mm. They are doing this today, doing that tomorrow, doing That's this true. today, doing different mm. things. So right. there's power in focus. Power you understand? Focus. I need to take back home to them. You understand? Mm -hmm. The power of focus. The power the, of number focus. two, like you said earlier, on, which is very important, customer development. Customer, customer development. development. That is That's key. What it's mm. very important. Mm -hmm. You understand? And many businesses in Africa just start, you know, and it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. and sustainability is key. And, and we talked about even the succession plan. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. So some people, when you Absolutely. finish, you die with your business and your That's it. Yeah. So I've learned that. So I've been coming 100 years, 200 years. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Mm -hmm. yes, that, uh, uh, yeah. Let me, let me hear from you. Yeah. You mentioned the customer development of that. Yeah. The customer development. development. Yeah. Yes. yeah, you sort of mentioned that. Tell us how you're going to take that and go apply in uh, um, that's, Uganda. Uh, <laughs> Honest truth is, I can't wait to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Just that <laughs> practical aspect now. Yeah. Um, just tell a little bit of my background. Um, the last four and a half years, I've been in investment banking. Mm. I worked for a pan-African investment bank called African Alliance, where I've, over the years, grown until by the time I left as the head of corporate finance. But uh, while I was doing banking, I figured out that I wasn't reaching out mm -hmm. to as many people as I ought to be. One of my key values is impact. Mm -hmm. How much impact am I making? Mm -hmm. All right, with investment banking, reaching out to a smaller community as opposed to what I'd wanted to. So what I did was um, about two years ago, I started financial literacy program. Mm -hmm. All right, so over the last two and a half years, I've reached out to 5,000 students high school students in Uganda. So when I started, I was thinking, how do I do it? I was looking at the logistics, I was looking at how to organize these people, mm. all right? Because I realized that one of Africa's biggest problem is financial illiteracy. Yes, yes. yes. We have the yes. concept yes. of hand to mouth, mm. Right. Mm. all right? Which is killing us. Right. So I said, how can I break the dogma? Mm. I wanted to go to the communities. But in communities in, uh, in Africa, it's a challenge. Because when you call communities, people are thinking, oh, they also need a drink. They need, you know, uh, <laughs> for, for a sitting allowance. <laughs> so, <laughs> which didn't make sense to me because it was for their benefit. Right. Mm -hmm. So I realized, you know what, the easiest way is to go to schools. These are the oh. young, young future. That makes sense. All right. To for tomorrow, it's just a matter of approaching the school administration and let them know. Mm -hmm. All right. When I started, people thought I was going to charge them. I said, no, 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 no. Mm. It's for free. free. Mm -hmm. It's That's for right. free. So, but how you got funded to do that? Uh, the last uh, couple of years, uh, as he said, don't wait for funding. 
Start with just what you it. have. Just right. So how did you how did you say it again? It said think small. Think uh, big. Think big. Mm -hmm. Start think small, small. Act now. Act now. Act now. Yeah. Which is what you did. Which I did. Mm -hmm. I said, look, I'm not Bill Gates mm -hmm. to give back to the community. Why? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. But I have my savings here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why don't I use my savings to reach out to these people and mm -hmm. impact them? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. What's more important is my savings being at the bank or the impact I'm having. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. All right. So over the last two and a half years, I've been using my savings mm. to reach out to these people. Mm. I say I'd rather die poor mm. than make people go financially mm. illiterate. Mm. All right. That's so for me, so, so that's an area that I think you're asking how we could help. So how can we help? Yes. help? Right. So yeah, how can we um, have some kind of funding to right. help to no. expand the program? I think so. Um, there's so many ways you can. Mm -hmm. One, I need partnership. Partnership. All right, I can't do this alone. Sound like a global that, institute? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it alone. Uh -huh. It's huge. Mm -hmm. All right. My goal is to reach out to 20 million youths in East Africa. In okay. East Africa. So All right. it's bigger than Uganda. It's bigger yeah. than it's Uganda. Bigger okay. As you said, think So big. it's regional. It's regional. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. That's my goal. Okay. To reach out to 20 million Ugandans by 2025. Okay. So does that mean you have some kind of curriculum or how yes, long does it Yes, I, I have curriculum mm -hmm. which runs um, one, we tackle savings. Okay. All right. Savings. We start with uh, budgeting. Cause budgeting. You know, okay. Many, many people don't know to budget. Okay. Mm -hmm. They don't. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're basically looking at your inflow vis-a-vis -vis your outflow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You're not supposed to spend more than what you get. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sav it's budget, savings, investment and how to choose a bank product whoa oh, okay. okay and it sounds like what we did we were doing at the global institute exactly what we're doing at the global institute with our microfinance center yes. and um like i mentioned um we've been given grants by um pnc mm -hmm. bank and we are still looking for other partners yes um so they help so that's what we train our students what you're going through there we have the same thing here with our inner city population right mm -hmm. you see uh, and and eddie about 85 percent of our students at chicago state uh you know inner city oh. and and so uh, e issues of finance uh, personal finance uh credit worthiness mm -hmm. savings mm -hmm. and yeah. budgeting and all that mm -hmm. those are the four workshops that we run in microfinance Absolutely. and then of course move into the entrepreneurship part mm -hmm. of it so um you can consider the global institute a part, yeah. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. yeah yeah um, because when we say global within it we have the africa center which is our, our africa center um training and oh. service learning yes. mm -hmm. and we can actually our students that we train mm -hmm. in the microfinance program they take the same knowledge and go and into go. the communities oh, and go. so we can have those students come to you Absolutely. you know and work with you because mm -hmm. that's the service learning that we are mm -hmm. uh, no. encouraging and promoting that's yeah. true mm -hmm. just to add on um on top of that i currently working on a business plan mm -hmm. um most of african small and medium businesses have one problem inadequate financing mm -hmm. and managerial that's what i wanted to say when you said one i said no it's more than <laughs> it's one yeah, <laughs> more than one yeah. you know, you know, you and mm -hmm. management Man management and so you don't have a succession plan a in terms of skills they're pretty good yes ah, right yes. They, they know how to make things happen they know how to make things yeah happen. but in terms of managing it sustaining it and then having the capital to run it and staying focused yeah. i i met a young man that i asked um, okay i'm in business and then okay this is my 10th business in two years wow <laughs> Okay, so what happened to the other one? You just keep changing, yeah. which is a problem. You're talking focus. about staying focused. Focus. So, right, right. so the, uh, the entrepreneurship training aspect of it, of mm -hmm. course, incorporates that. Yes. Uh, we should look at the communities and you look at what the issues are and you customize the training. Mm -hmm. So the training are customized to meet mm -hmm. the needs. That's it's cool. demand driven. Mm -hmm. So wonderful so you're talking about identifying that two major problems are the financing finance mm -hmm. and so, manager so how how are you working around those um, solutions for that so what i'm trying to do is uh i want to set up a private equity firm private equity, equity firm, firm okay. all right mm -hmm. that offers flexible financing solutions to farmers and young businesses in africa all right and private then equity. that also comes with managerial guidance and support mm -hmm. all right because most of the businesses can't survive due to the element of finance 
and management. Mm. Right. Okay. So hand in hand. Hand in hand yeah. go. Right. Most most of the vision bearers mm. can't execute well. Mm. They need support. Mm. They need the expertise. Right. And that's what I want to focus on. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for provision of large capital. These people don't need large capital. No, right. they don't. It's they small. don't. They need small. small. Micro so small. that's microfinance. Small, micro small microfinance, micro yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's what they need. So your focus is on the finance, agro-business? Um, agro-business. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is um, agriculture has future. Oh, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can't feed yourself, forget it. <laughs> All right. And so, so many African countries are so importing and you have yeah. such yeah. land exactly. and, and, and have people to do the work. Oh. Yeah. For instance, let's, let's, do, let's look at Uganda as a study case. Mm -hmm. uh, Uganda has huge demand mm -hmm. for its produce. And what is that? Southern Sudan imports from Uganda. Rwanda imports from Uganda. All right. Um, what, what products? What, what product products? Is that? Agricultural products. Okay. Give food. us an example. Uh, yeah. We're looking at corn, sorghum. sorghum mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We're looking at beans. Mm -hmm. We're looking at cassava. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. We're looking at fruits as well. Mm. They have right. the land for that too. too. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, is there? A, are we looking at mechanized farming here? Um, we are. Okay. We're looking at that. So you want to move beyond we subsistence, hand beyond to mouth. Mm. Okay. Hand to mouth. Now, how about that? If there are issues about mechanized farming and it taking the jobs from the people. Yeah, how right. do you manage? I, I, I am very concerned about that. So, so, so well. let's talk about that because when you look at the development in Brazil, you mm -hmm. look at mass or like here, mm -hmm. you know, and then you'll have a few farmers and all these people unemployed mm -hmm. um, because you're still a subsistence economy. Then you look at China with the smaller farms, etc. Mm -hmm. So what model are you looking at as you develop? You see, agriculture is not only the farming element. Mm. There's a supply chain mm. that is involved. Yeah. All right? Don't only focus on the farming. Mm. Farming is just a small portion of agriculture. That's okay. good. Okay. That's All right? Good. So mechanization, you don't want to focus on farming. But what happens to supply chain which is adding value adding to me value. that's the yeah. most important mm -hmm. uh, when we're talking mm -hmm. about others coming to or, or us exporting mm -hmm. from africa exporting the raw materials only from the raw stage no value is added no right. and so somebody else comes to pick up these valuable mm -hmm. products with peanuts yeah. and yeah. then go and, and refine them right. and process them yes. and send it right. back and we Absolutely cannot even in a place like nigeria okay you have oil very rich <laughs> in oil and that but you, we come to america all right i can't remember the last time i'm standing on a very long line oh. you know but you in nigeria oil. that you have oil you know you go to the gas station yeah. right and and what happens you scarcity for days for sometimes days. Scarcity. scarcity for yeah. days and in you, a are you are the original you are the original so somebody takes it and refines it sends it back to you you cannot even so why can't we Build refineries. No, Why I don't we begin do to home. add That's value? Right. Add value. value. And value. so, as we had talked about, you do have these different stages of development. America, at some point, was its primary stage. Mm -hmm. All right, where you eating from hand to, hand you know, to, to the land. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. in agriculture, yeah, yes. hunting, fishing, mining, you know, and That's all true. those areas. And then um, necessity, they say, is a matter of mm -hmm. invention. Mm -hmm. Okay, we went and killed this big buffalo, big meat. All right, we're eating it. How many are we in the family? Mm -hmm. We can only eat it so much, right? Tomorrow, mm -hmm. next day, the big meat is gone. It's, mm -hmm. it's bad. Yeah. Okay, but then you need to go back and hunt for another mm -hmm. meat. Whereas this one is here. And so we started thinking, why don't we fi figure out a way that we can preserve this animal so we don't go to the bush and hunt it every day? Takes you to the second stage of development mm -hmm. where manufacturing begins to. That's, that's what right. I'm thinking where we are with, with many Africa. of African countries before right. we get into the uh, tertiary and you yeah, know quaternary and quinary and all that. Yeah. So I think that's that's going to be an a, an interesting thing, focusing on farming because for one, you need to be able to feed your people mm -hmm. and, and cut down on all these uh, yeah, importing of food. Food, yeah. food, food. Is it um, there's a saying in Africa that if you can deal with hunger, mm -hmm. then the remaining things are just... No, even in yes. church, they, <laughs> say, they say the hungry man cannot listen to the same one. Yeah. 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 Right? Yes, the basics. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thomas and Carl, mm -hmm. umpteen years ago, resolved the issue in his um, Burkina Faso in like three years, right? Yeah. And he was able yeah. to feed the people. Mm -hmm. It's a key. When you look at that, the world is looking at Africa as their food basket. Yeah, My question is, can the Africans eat of the basket too? <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm very concerned about that. Recently, um, some African, three African regions, mm -hmm. I think East Africa, Sadak, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Southern yes. Africa and other, they formed a tripartite. Yes. Um, yeah. So, so how does what you're doing? Because you, I hear you. You're thinking big. Mm -hmm. Same with the brother yeah. Sarah. <laughs> big and big. You said that you want to talk about farming and you're looking at supply chain and adding value. Yes. Expand on that mm -hmm. and expand on this new treaty. How you see that? Because now your market is all the way down to South Africa. Absolutely. Yes. And um, you know. Mm -hmm all those little islands out there too so good I mean um, that alone is a white opportunity right it's now beyond East Africa mm. you're not looking at East Africa and Southern Africa right. combined together mm. so the question that plays in my mind is how can I ensure that my farmers products reach out to Southern Africa mm -hmm. not only in East Africa all right so what are we going to do is we are going to improve on the methods mm. of farming Mm. We're going to improve on our mm -hmm. methods of farming. Mm -hmm. Ensure that our produce is more than enough to sell, not only to our communities, mm. right. but beyond our communities. Mm. All right, that's Regional one. standards. Exactly. Yeah. Right, so right. once we have done that, then we are going to do the value addition. Mm. All right? Mm -hmm. The packaging, the processing, and all that, as opposed mm. to sending raw materials. Mm. 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 All right? Mm. So once we do that, then we can not only send it to Southern Africa, and we'll come to, to send it to our brothers and sisters in America. In right. America, yeah. 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 make it blue. Yeah. All right, yeah. we'll send it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> because we have one of the best bananas in Uganda. Oh, tell us. Oh, about really? Yeah. I love bananas. Yes. I just had some green bananas this morning myself. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, we boil them. Do there you, you go. Like that? Do you boil bananas like that? Yes, or you eat them we ripe? do. We 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 do both. Do you we do boil banana porridge also? Yes. And, and, mm -hmm. and plantains. Yes, plantains. Yeah. We do. So you see that you need to test Ugandan banana. Yes, I do. But you can't do that. But you can test it if you don't produce enough. That's right. Okay. All right. So that's yeah. another problem that I need to fix. That needs to be fixed. I can see. I already have a partner. You mm -hmm. coming on board. Mm -hmm. All right. Because we need to feed the world. Yes, right. we do. As you said, mm -hmm. Africa is the world's food basket. It is. Mm. It is. All right. But, but Africans, Africans need to realize that they are the world's food basket. Right. It's not only to be said at a global level, but they themselves need to know. Uh, the farmers local. need to believe in themselves right. that That's they right. can feed the Americans, right. that they can feed any other person in the world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not only their neighbors. That's true. All right. And, and that's why they need a program like this, because you need someone to like put your hands, you know, mm -hmm. and kind of just push you up, yeah. which is what you're trying to do with yes. this program. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I love that you're going into the schools and you're talking to the uh -huh. young people, because really and truly, in 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 here, it's the same thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that they're in school in the first place, right, mm -hmm. um, has an interest, so therefore, why not feed it, right? right. So I, I believe in the youth. Um, we will solve the problems of the next generation. Of we focus on the young people. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Now, now you talked about the, the packaging, the supply chain, improving method, and these are all great news because mm -hmm. um, I'm a historian. So when I look at, um, Walter Rodney wrote a book, How yeah. Europe Underdeveloped Africa, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And when you look at those same companies that were a part of that problem are yes. still many of the same companies to yeah, today, absolutely. right? And when you look at, like she said, products are leaving and everything added on. And then they to send it back and sell it to you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you had it right here. It. So now we're talking about improving the supply chain, but now you're going to create more jobs because you're having you a manufacturing go. plant, Absolutely. right? Go. And then we're looking at science and technology because the continent is lacking in researchers, mm -hmm. research and development. Logistics is a part of that. It's a For distribution, part of it. It is. right? It's huge. You know? and all so that. All Customer of this service, yeah. you get there a you bit <laughs> So, true. no, I really like it Let's because when we were looking, I mean, he answered that question so perfectly. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. we are like, okay, we're going to do mechanized farming. That's wonderful. But what about the farmers? Yeah. Are they going to lose? Yeah. And he said, oh, just think beyond that. Right. I mm. love that. Now, now you're talking about products because mm -hmm. now not only with with the banana mm -hmm. and other fruits and things that you have that we probably haven't heard of, but skin, skin, okay. yeah. 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 spa, yeah. you know what I'm saying, cosmetics. Okay. Um, there was a young lady that I just heard about. She's in Kenya, mm -hmm. and she formed a Susie, Susie, Susie something, right? Okay. But but that was her new. She said she was tired of asking her brother to send her products from America, mm -hmm. and then when they get here, the color just ain't right, mm -hmm. and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And so she formed her own cosmetic oh, company. That's in Kenya, that's right? Good, yeah. so, so we are looking at, I look at data from Africa and sometimes when I tell people some of the things they, they're like overwhelmed, right? Mm -hmm. But I said this is not to be depressed about, this is to say we have opportunity, mm -hmm. right? Because right? if things are this way then the only way we can go is up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then how do we motivate people to, to buy into that? You're you coming here, you connecting with us, Right, having people see what Africans look like. I mm -hmm. mean, we yes. have Dr. King, but we have others. Yeah. Um, and seeing the mindset 
you know, and that you're not looking, you're looking to improve your locale. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if everyone took care of their yeah. locale, yeah. right, yes. we wouldn't have any problems in the world, right? Mm -hmm. um, and all of that. So, so you've mentioned that from an economic perspective, and that's going to deal with the issue of poverty. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. um, when people have something they can focus on, mm -hmm. then that's going to deal with the issue of leadership, mm -hmm. right? Because now, instead of us spending our time, time to destroy, we're going to focus on yeah. moving forward, yes. mm -hmm. you know? So I really see how this is all tied in. Now you talked about private equity. We have the same, I want you to know, mm -hmm. we're here in America and you came and you saw, mm -hmm. but there's a difference. There's a difference in the black community versus others, uh, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The dollar spends six hours in mm -hmm. our community. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It spends 30, uh, it spends 30 days in the Asian community. It spends 21 days in the Jewish community and spends like 17 days in the white overall community. Mm -hmm. So if you only spend six hours in your community, mm -hmm. then you know that you don't own the businesses, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So when we speak, we speak because we understand that this is a global problem, mm -hmm. right? As it relates to past colonial experience, yeah. et cetera, for African people, right? Mm -hmm. And others, but our focus, my focus is Africa and yes. African people, yeah. right? And the African diaspora, the Caribbean and Latin America. Global Africa. That. Global mm -hmm. Africa, yes. yeah. right? Mm -hmm and how to bring the minds of global Africa together, yeah. right? And that's what we're doing right now. Because mm -hmm. when you leave, we're going to be connected. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to be in the same space, right. but we need to be able again, to share ideas. What yeah. I do is send out uh, information. Um, you know, the other day I sent up some economic data. statistics, yeah. all that people can use, right? Mm -hmm. And how do we then begin to look at Uganda? Dr. King talked about succession. We're very about succession and mm -hmm. legacy building, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what kind of um, initiatives can you have in your country? We would like to see, this is what I would like to see, because this is what we're doing, trying to do here and doing here in mm -hmm. Chicago. Um, needs assessment, comprehensive needs assessment that lays out a vision, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. what, is, what is your resources? What are your people's needs? Mm -hmm. and, and lays down some kind of foundation. When you have that kind of needs assessment and analysis, and focus on your resources and all the needs and then you begin a game plan yeah. it means that whomever the leadership is it mm -hmm. doesn't matter yeah. right yeah. Yeah. because really your audience is the people yeah. right. once you sell this initiative to your, your countrymen which is hey this is the Uganda we would like to see. This mm -hmm. is the Nigeria we would like to see. That's, a, that's, that's not a party thing. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's a people thing. That's not right? a political mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. And human development is, is in the past, they said the economy, it was uh, how is the economy doing, right? Mm -hmm. And the new way of looking at the world is how are the people doing. Yes. Yes. Africa has 17 emerging economies, that's right? right? And that's even within those countries that are emerging, the poverty rate has not improved. It so it's emerging, it's an it's a economic opportunity mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. others, right? investors oh yes let's go to Africa yes. right sure. however you know um, we're in the year 2015 mm. the United Nations in, in the year 2000 189 countries came together and said we can beat poverty mm. right that was yeah. the Millennium Development yeah. Goal mm -hmm. you know that poverty and education mm -hmm. and gender inequity and infant mortality yeah. maternal mm -hmm. mortality HIV AIDS all of those things right mm -hmm. and and this year the UN is going to say hey we have we have met our UN goals. Mm -hmm. Because when you average it all out, yes. looks <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> looks looks good. good. But then I have an article and the article says, but Africa will not have reached its goals. Mm -hmm. In fact, the IMF talks about that. Um, the IMF leader, mm -hmm. um, Christina Lagarde, I think mm -hmm. her name is, she said, yes. um, Africa is rising, but mm -hmm. its people but are the not. People are not. Right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, post MDGs, this year they're going to be meeting at the UN, and we're yeah. talking about post Millennium Development Goals. Post -develop Millennium Development Goals wants to address the issue that your economy is rising, but if it ain't trickling down, this trickle down thing don't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does not work. Yeah. It hasn't worked here, because we have mm. more of a gap between rich and poor now, yes. right? Um, and it hasn't worked in Africa. You have a number of billionaires in Africa, no, right? Okay. So obviously yeah, there's the enough wealth, class, but yeah. the wealth is not trickling down, down, down. right? Mm -hmm. And so the question I want to ask is, moving forward, right, mm -hmm. um, given that, um, one in seven African child dies before the age of five, right? Mm -hmm. One in 31 women die giving birth, right? Mm -hmm. Looking at infant mortality. Yeah. Um, they just came out with a new malaria vaccine um, and they had a test down in the Comoros Islands where they did that. I, my, the verdict isn't out yet uh, for me because mm -hmm. um, who developed it and mm -hmm. if the whole continent gets um, vaccinated, what, what, you know, what are the ramifications because we don't know what the full results mm -hmm. of the things are, right? Mm -hmm. So my question to you is moving forward, we need young people involved in research and development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need young people involved in science. Mm -hmm. We need young people involved in building the universities on the camp, on the continent. On the continent. On the continent. On the continent. Yeah. It's nice to come here, but wouldn't it be nice for me to go there? 
Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Wouldn't that be nice for me to say, this is the apple of Africa, yeah. right? And yeah. that not just be one country, right? But sure. in a number of regions. Yeah. Like coming out of independence, they had this Pan-African dream. Yeah. The African Union, through its Agenda 2063, mm -hmm. is, is restating that African dream, yes. right? And building, we have five Pan-African universities, right? Mm -hmm. And we had about 300 universities on the continent in 2008 which is about five million people. So you have an issue with higher level um, educated people. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then when you have those educated people, because of opportunity or instability politically, many of them end up escape to the West. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. And then they come here and guess what? A lot of them are not doing all the things that they thought they would be. Mm -hmm. We have a whole lot of PhDs riding a taxi. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with driving a taxi, but if you was a PhD in X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. and your continent needs that, wouldn't it have been better to stay? Yeah. I think that's what we're trying to do here. Yeah. And how do we reverse this direction of the brain drain? Right. All right. right. So we have these um, great young minds coming from Africa for about six weeks, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, in America. And what really excites me is when they say, I can't wait to get back. Oh, you that's know, right, right. I love that. <laughs> Of course, we care. Okay, we got to go school and back. You know, we're not really getting back, but now we're beginning to formalize ways. We're mm -hmm. not just going, mm -hmm. uh, but getting the experts, all the brilliant minds, yeah. and how we can put that together to reconnect. I is there any way you can advise us or tell us about what we can do to reverse the direction of this brain drain? Mm -hmm. You know, many of us coming from Africa, we get trained, and uh, instead of going back, you know, we're here, yeah. and you just coming here six weeks, you are like. I can't wait. I'm excited. I can't mm -hmm. wait to get. Sure. No, what can you home. advise us? <laughs> advise us. What what can we do? Yes, actually, um, Africa is a great continent, full with full filled up with potentials, mm -hmm. and um, I think um, African year, including uh, the African Americans, mm -hmm. need to actually come to Africa mm -hmm. and see what's happening in Africa. Mm -hmm. We We're coming. Yeah. We're coming. <laughs> Because <laughs> I found out that most people don't even know about Africa. Yeah. I've talked to a number of people, mm -hmm. uh, stand apart from those that travel down from Africa to this place, most people don't know about Africa. Right. And there's something I've discovered, which is key. Mm -hmm. I've met a lot of Africans here who have the experience, who have the expertise, mm -hmm. and are exposed. You understand? Mm -hmm. And we need this back home. That's right. If you can bring this back home and meet with the brilliant minds there, mm -hmm. you understand? Then there's a connection. And from there, we make progress. Right. That's what I've discovered here because, like, my, like we mentioned earlier, we do these things with high schools here, mm -hmm. part of our program, and mm -hmm. we have also worked with the after school um, program. Mm -hmm. I've, we have, we've been to a number of summer camps too to talk with the kids. Mm -hmm. right. And that's what I've seen here. And um, I tried to find out, that they say STEM, S T E M, science, oh, technology, engineering, and math. Right, right, right. That's not big in Nigeria. It's not big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. So I think we need. We need that back home in Africa, okay. emphasis okay. on that, mm. right. with a strong background of history. Mm. Not to know what happened before you were born is to forever remain a child. That's right. You understand? And there's no way you can be self-conscious and self-aware mm. mm. without really knowing your history. That's mm. right. True. History is continuous. Mm. There's something called the cyclical theory of history. Mm. You get my point? So, yes. Yes. so there's need for self-assertion. Mm. You understand? So both Africans in the diaspora, and Africans at home, you understand, have to come together if genuine change, if authentic leadership, if real progress is to be achieved. Mm. I was talking with someone recently in the forum and I told them, with some folks, that I wish at this point Africa was so developed that Africa will come to Europe and America mm -hmm. and support, you stand, the Africans. Mm -hmm. Year, you understand, mm -hmm. in America or in Europe. Mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it's the other way around. Yeah. Right. But now we need and to work together. Yeah. It's, it's we we talked about the um, a training, our young minds here, mm -hmm. a young African American, as you have said, if yes. you don't know your history, mm -hmm. there's an issue. We've talked about uh, the issue of identity crisis mm -hmm. in African American mm -hmm. communities. Yes. Um, the, the young men need to know who they are. They need, right? to, know it, they yeah. need to know who they are. So that's an idea which we will be sharing with you and see how we can develop this curriculum and train this young man. And uh, the, the program will call Get In, having them come uh, here and we go and, there. and go yeah. to yeah. Africa. Yeah. 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 So, so let me share a little history with you. Recently, um, 
uh, a young Kenyan um, tied together with an African American director, and they created a film called Bound, mm -hmm. oh, right? Okay. And the Bound was called Africa, Africans versus African Americans. Oh, good. And if you can, you need to get it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You need to get it to come to Uganda, mm -hmm. get it to come to Nigeria. Yeah. Why? Because it tells a story of two brothers. Mm -hmm. That's how they start out, mm -hmm. right? And it tells it in like how an African would tell a story, mm -hmm. yeah. and it tells about our struggle through the enslavement process, mm -hmm. and then tells about your struggles through the colonialism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after we watch this, we can put that to the side now mm -hmm. and stop calling each other names right. and all of this, and we can work together. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah. now, Uganda. Oh, good. Um, why brain drain? Mm -hmm. If I look historically, mm -hmm. one of the main reasons why Africans in the last um, couple two or couple of years, mm -hmm. two or three decades, it's been for political reasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Political they right. come because back home things are not stable. Yeah. Right. There's no okay. peace. Push and pull. Mm -hmm. Push and pull. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, as a matter of fact, things have changed. Mm -hmm. But they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they don't so know. you need a better marketing plan. So, so we need to, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Is yeah. Right. Yeah. Things have changed. Mm -hmm. This peace back home. Like, now. for instance, sorry, look at the transition in Nigeria mm -hmm. from one government to the other. No, it is. Yeah. It was peaceful. And it was so peaceful. announced all over the world. Yeah, but peaceful. it was ready. Peaceful. It was, it was yeah. very peaceful. The whole world thought it was going to be a lot of. Commotion. Yes, but look at it. That shows it. Yeah. But yeah. That I like, like President Obama says, I'm a garden. You know? <laughs> 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 I'm a full just sort of propaganda. Like, the world is coming to an end yeah. on this yes. issue. Um, you, you're saying something very important. Yeah. Um, I did a maternal mortality research, right? Mm -hmm. And I found that in Burgundy, Mm -hmm. uh, but it, I think it was in Uganda, but okay. it was in the 1880s. Oh. A missionary was there and he was observing uh, uh, a woman undergoing C-section. Mm -hmm. This is in the 1880s. Mm -hmm. He described banana wine. They gave her a little to drink, gave some to wash the belly, cut the belly. The man described every step. Nice. Then he described how they sewed it up. I say this to say that sometimes in Africa, in the Caribbean, we believe that we are learning new things. Mm -hmm. yeah. When in reality, mm -hmm. our ancestors handled that issue already, and then we lost it through that small, brutal colonial mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. and now we have to reacquaint ourselves with our ancestral. I told you, my great grandfather, he died at 105. He was riding his bike, he was strong. Um, he knew about all the herbs. If you tell and had chemistry that we are learning now, mm -hmm. we go to great grandpapa, oh, I have a headache, right? Great grandpapa will say, wait, sit down. And he'll get into his barn, grab a maze, roast it, and give it to you. What has maize got to do with my pounding headache, <laughs> right? By the time you finish chewing it, your headache is gone, mm -hmm. right? He reversed the nerves. That's chemistry, what we're knowing now. It was, so we had already known this. They knew nothing about Western medicine, mm -hmm. right. but they knew about herbs. Right. I'm talking about pregnant women will come and nothing happening. Before you know it, you'll tell them, walk around, give them something, the baby just pops out, mm -hmm. like nothing. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I wish I knew what I knew. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know, to be writing this oh, now, I guess yes. I will be a very rich person. Very but rich. That, that basically goes to support your point. It does. And, and, and it supports that sometimes we're importing a lot of Western thoughts and ideas. Mm -hmm. um, as to the issue of health in Africa, you have the Abuja Accords. Yes. Yeah. And you have six countries who have actually met it, and they've met it through Western aid. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean a commitment, right? True. Now, you can't improve your economy without improving your health of your people mm -hmm. and educating your people. True. Right, so yeah. it's really a pleasure to yeah. see. We're getting a chance to wrap up, yeah. but it's really a pleasure to see not only what the educational system of your countries have done, mm -hmm. right, in producing both of you mm -hmm. and all the other 500 and the 50,000 who apply. Before you go, let me just yeah. add a real quick thing. Mm -hmm. I do also believe in holistic development, mm -hmm. the soul, the mind must be part of that. Yeah. Right. Yes, it, we right. do education, economics, and all that, but you must develop your spiritual Spirit. mind. That's you right. gotta get back to your creator. That's right, yeah. that's right. Yeah, and that's the beauty of Africa. That's yeah. our roots, right. God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and that, is, that, is, that is so true. Let's say we have continued that legacy here in, in the Americas. The African-American community is one of the most spiritual communities oh, also, right. you yeah. know? So yeah. that is a positive thing. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, as we get a chance to wrap up, what would like your parting words to our people be here? Because brothers, and sisters, you are our brothers and sisters, you know, what, what would you like to tell them? Yeah, I would like to tell them Africa is a great continent mm -hmm. and for us to make progress as African people, both the diaspora and the Africans both at home, back home, have to synergize together. Mm. Yes. With synergy, we we'll make progress. Mm. No retreat, no surrender. No retreat, and don't no forget, <laughs> think big. <laughs>
That's small. That's small. Up now. I know. That's good. That's small. Up now. How about you? Dave? Um. Well. Thoughts. Africa is different now. It's great opportunity in Africa. We can do it alone. We are calling you to join us. As he said, synergy in a better one, partnerships. We can do it. There's great opportunity out there for not only yourself, but to enrich your brothers and sisters and make a difference. Your people, my people, our people need you, need us. Mm. Let's do it together. Mm. Together, we'll make it. Mm. Alone, I can't. Right. I need you, you need me. One hand can't clap, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and you talked about private equity. So as we talk about cooperative economics mm -hmm. and rebuilding that in the black community here, yes. then we can help with cooperative economics by helping to fund some of these private equity, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Dr. King? I'm just excited to have these brilliant minds <laughs> right with <laughs> me, me coming straight from uh, the continent. We cannot overemphasize the idea of mm -hmm. unity and coming together and building the capacity. Um, we want to build for our communities here um, in, in, a, in, in, in the diaspora, mm -hmm. but we also want to take that and build in the continent. We want it to be mutually beneficial, not exploitative, That's right. but That's mutually right. beneficial. So as we develop education, health, um, economy, and all that, let's not forget our maker, because we can do all of this. The Bible says um, that um, the, the person can build, whoever builds can build, but if God does not put the mm. increase, it's not working. Mm. So we need to reconnect and have a personal relationship with Jesus, with our maker, and he will help us to come together and propagate this. We can only do so much, but God can add the rest for yes, us. Yeah. It is my excitement. Just thank you uh, for That's taking awesome. some time thank this you. evening to be with us. Thank you for having us. Thank appreciate you. It. Mm -hmm. I mean, to know that you've been so busy, but you did take the time. Yeah. Yeah. We really appreciate that. And going forward, um, we definitely will be in touch with you mm -hmm. um, and see how we can help mm -hmm. and how we can do that cross-pollination. I'm very big on cross-pollination oh, nice. and our further leadership development, yeah. right? Yeah. Because um, that is definitely needed. In Africa, they consider under 35 youth, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and here, you can become president at 35, right? <laughs> 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 kind of interesting, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so how do we tie that in? So I want to thank you, Dr. Margaret King, right, and the Young African Leaders Initiative, Dan Adomwa, mm -hmm. and uh, Tola Oni from Nigeria, and Dan from Uganda, um, to coming with us, sharing with us, inspiring us. I know I'm really excited. I'm going to be taking a while to calm down at night <laughs> <laughs> uh, with your stories um, of, of your success and your vision, and that's really what's here. I'm hearing a lot of vision, you know. Um, and putting it out into the universe, because once you put it out into the universe, you know, that, that universe is going to respond in a positive way. So your community, you need help um, expanding your programs with the financial planning, and you're doing business development, right? Okay. And they're always looking for opportunities, um, people who would like to help sponsor that, to cause that synergy between our communities here and, and in, in Africa. Um, and there's a lot that we could learn from you, right? This cross-pollinization, you came here and you were like, wow, it's just like what the movie says, right? Mm -hmm. um, we want to go there and say, wow, it's not like what the movie says. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a negative. It's a negative. Yeah. Yeah. Some young Africans did a little video the other day and they were talking and they were saying, in all the movies, we we're always bad, we we're always shooting up people, we always got guns, etc." And, and so they said, no, we're going to change the, 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 the concept of what it is. So I want to thank you for coming. Um, again, my name is Cecile Johnson. I'm CEO of African Development Plan, and I want to thank Global City Unities Community Outreach for giving us this opportunity to speak to the global black community. And today, to our guests who are here from the continent um, on issues affecting our community and opportunities, what I want you to see is that our challenges are the same and our solutions will have to be similar to the agenda that we've had, the Pan-African agenda, through the last 150 years. That we have to bring all our minds together and find that synergy that, um, that our brother Tolo likes to talk about and, and make it happen. We are capable. What if the best minds of the world came to our countries, our continent, gave them the best of ourselves? Would we not be successful? Yeah. So we will be successful. If you want to find out more, please contact us at www.africandevelopmentplan.org or you can reach me at africandevelopmentplan at gmail.com. I want to thank you and look forward to a future discussion. <laughs>